Hi guys, I'm Jamal Stone. I'm Chantal Aids. We are on our way to Comic Con 2014, our very own custom made, donated by Chevy, Uber car with the Sonic the Hedgehog theme. Also, we have our superhero stuff, Batman shirts on. Chantal, are you excited? I'm uber excited! There's cosplayers, celebrities. Oh my god, Madame Tussauds, they have a little surprise. I can't wait to see it. Marvel's got some announcements. We're gonna see a whole bunch of panels. I'm excited. I can't wait. You ready to go with that? I think this is gonna be uber awesome. Let's go. Let's go. How much of yourself is put into Bob as a character? Like, how much is just Bob, or how much of your own personal? Uh, I a lot. I think I'm very much like Bob, even in real life. Uh, so. I think the only difference is I'm a little more cynical than Bob. So uh, when I do play him, Lauren will often ha have to sort of pull me back from being too negative and not hate my kids and hate Linda, <laughs> and hate Linda because she's so hey, hateable. Uh, so I have to pull back from that. I think Lauren's always a big note for me is you love your wife. <laughs> right. Yeah, so that's true. Would you say that Linda is the villain of the show? Um, it's funny. I don't mind. I can't conceive of how anybody likes her. Um, I, she's so grating, and uh, but she is. I think Lauren's point is like Linda's kind of this like w like wonderfully unhinged woman who uh, probably drinks a little too much, but has a lot of fun and a lot of spirit. And I personally, as an actor, have to find a way to uh, to like that. Do you think the show is like the inverse of The Simpsons in some ways, where Homer is the big baby who goes with whatever he wants, and Marge is kind of the control that keeps everything together, but in this show it's reversed? Yeah, I mean, maybe there's similarities between Louise. I mean, like, I don't know, like, I haven't watched Simpsons in a long time, but I assume Bart's, uh, uh, it was, uh, certainly Bob is, uh, is more of a responsible uh, patriarch, I guess, for his family. So yeah, that might be true. But Bart's like a schemer, right? So like, he's, sort of he's a lot like Louise, yeah. I think. But Louise is, is, she's pretty precocious, so out of all the kids, I feel like she's got it all together and knows what she's gonna do all the time. Of all the professional voice actors I know, you seem to do the one voice the most. When do you, de when do you develop this great voice uh, that works? No one else has done it, you know, right? Uh, I don't know, I mean, when did I get this voice? Yeah, I yeah. think it was birth. Like. <laughs> What's that? Have you always spoken this way? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you always used your voice like this? No, at one point I had a very high voice. Oh, okay. I, I, uh, I just have it. And um, uh, and John does have range. He plays other characters on the show as well. He plays Jimmy Jr. I do, yeah, but I, on a lot of shows I've done with Lauren, uh, I've used my own voice. Uh, in home movies, when I play a, a coach character, I kind of, uh, it was the precursor to Archer. I, I sort of lowered my voice a little bit and uh, yelled a lot more. Uh, but I don't do a lot of changes. Seems like you guys Except are... for this! <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you guys are, you, you're all recording together in one room and it, how much does that contribute to the vibe that makes it to the show? And how different is it than when you're doing voice work just in your own booth? Without any other well, we're really on two coasts. It's me and me and Eugene and John in, on the East Coast, and then the rest of the cast. Those guys are out there along with Lauren, and but it's at the same time ensemble. Okay. Yeah, we're in the cans, and yeah, I think it's a big contributor. So we certainly there's certainly a fair amount of improv. Anytime when you yeah. do improv too, yeah. it's also based on the like the the uh, sort of the nature of how the actor's feeling that day, too. So you get a lot of like actual real dynamics going on. And fortunately, we're playing a family that has, you know, kind of real dynamics, uh, although it's pretty silly. But So it is funny. When I'm in a bad mood, I'm in a bad mood when, when I do improv. Um, right. That affects the nature yeah. of what I the feel scene like, turns into. I feel like same goes for Kristen or, or Larry. Or I feel like anytime you said, like, get out, you're usually when we had our, our a few arguments as Teddy well, that's and Bob, I, I just those do are real because right. I always I know, but end our <laughs> improv scenes with get out, leave. It's it right. just means I don't want to do any more improv. <laughs> yes. Do you think Teddy get out, get out? 
<laughs> There's so many people on the cast that are comedians that are just funny people in everything that they do. Do you think that it would work if it was just traditional voice actors instead of... No, like and I think... I, th I don't. I think uh, that we are s special. <laughs> no, I think that uh, Lauren chose the people that he did because he kind of knew... Or at least he imagined a, a, a dynamic that would work, and he was, I think it does, so he, I think he was in good part right to, to do it that way. Mm -hmm. And he, you know, he works with a lot of people he's worked with before, so he knows what he's going to get. Um, but yeah, I, I don't think, without the improv, I think it would be a different show. Uh, yeah. Were there any episodes that were outright like, difficult or just unpleasant to actually um, voice for? That oh, in in Bob's Burgers, yeah. like that I didn't enjoy being there. Um, not even that you didn't enjoy being there. They said the process was difficult, or even the script was. There's been some difficult. clunkers. <laughs> yeah, I don't I know. Think of what, I, yeah. I, yeah, there's. It's never, not, it's never like a grueling experience. Yeah. So, uh, What's your least favorite episode of Bob's Burgers? Yeah, that's like, well, I don't right. know, but I would need a list. But I, there has been a few I haven't been like completely. Like, but if anything, they've gotten better at writing those episodes. It might have been really early on, if there were any. More yeah. recently, I think that they've gotten better at writing for the characters and certainly writing the episodes overall. You know, and it's been solid. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I think the next. Well, I think the all the writers season. now are like firing at a, at all cylinders, and they know what they're doing. And right. everybody's sort of, like we said in an earlier interview, all the writers are the same writers from the original mm -hmm. staff. So it's a really tight knit group now. I just think it. Works really well. Um, I I think there's been personally there's been uh, prior shows I've done that it, where you feel like because you can do improv uh, you can kind of fix the script or you try and fix it on the fly and um, sometimes you I when you feel that burden it's uh, it's not it's not great like I like oh I don't want to the script's maybe not that great but. There's so many good performers in the show that everybody picks up slack. For it. But like Larry said, I think like the the writers of the show are great, and uh, Lauren does a great job directing and, and, and editing.